going to um, be a start of um, my CPR it's going to be Cheryl's personal reset for life and what that means to me is that I am going to bring myself back to life through redesigning my life and saving my life rescuing myself y'all because it's been rough out here so let me go back a little bit because the video that I'm gonna play next that was like three days before I quit my job on Friday so God was already putting me um, on my way to receive blessings that I received today so let me just like I said let me go back a little bit and explain like where I'm at and how I got to this point today so Friday I had a meeting at work and um, I was below my average for my numbers for authenticating um, pieces of clothing and um, went to the meeting and you know they wanted me to step up my game and I you know I tried to explain everything to my best ability of why I was not getting it and basically the pressure was on 80% so I was like cool I can do that with no problem that's 176 pieces so I was cool with that so I got back to my desk and I don't know it just seemed like I was not going to make it so I basically said God if I don't get the 80%, I'm going to quit and step out on faith and let you take charge of my life and let you direct my steps. So I did everything I was supposed to do. I got the 176 pieces in. I didn't even take my break. I worked straight through. So that was another thing that kind of put me um, in a pickle because I was like, I can't go on like this. I can't be stressed out. I can't be pressured. It was just it was just piling up I wasn't eating I wasn't sleeping um, I had pain shooting up the back of my neck um, I was just exhausted so for the last two months I've just been totally just exhausted just wiped out and so I, like I said I put the 176 pieces in and I was like cool I did it and I was gonna you know keep moving forward and do the best that I could so the next day when I woke up in the morning, I didn't make it. I only had 79% and I needed 80 to stay off the shit list and move forward. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, I'm going to have to quit my job because I told God that if I didn't make the 80%, I was going to quit and do what I had to do. So I was so stressed out Friday morning. So I said, you know, whatever, whatever. Just go ahead and go into work and just do the best I can. So um, that's what I did. But as I was working, I kept hearing this voice saying, you said, you said. So I kept working through it. I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to quit my job. I'm just going to keep working through it. You said, you said. I'm filming. Where's our duffel bag? It's in the kitchen. Okay. You said, you said. So I was like, oh my god I'm gonna do this I don't know what I'm gonna do like I got two brand new cars how am I supposed to just walk out on faith but I said that if I didn't make it I was going to quit and let him take control of my life so y'all I went ahead um, finished the rack of clothing that I had left and um, I wrote a letter and I finished what I had to finish up I cleaned my desk, I said goodbye to my friends, and I went to the manager and gave her the letter. It was an immediate um, letter. Um, my resignation was immediate. Um, I really felt uncomfortable about not giving notice, but this wasn't the kind of job that you could work another two weeks if you decide that you want to do it no more. So I just let the chips fall where the chips fall, fell, and they did fall. And Got my stuff and I head out the front door. Hey girl, I'm home and while I'm here, we might as well take
take care of some some issues or problems that we may have within the home. Um, girl, I'm gonna give y'all some substance today. Some meat and potatoes, okay? You guys hungry? <laughs> I say this because when was the last time you revised or even took another look at your vision board? We are at the six month point of the year and this is when we need to go back and do the three R's. We need to reward, we need to revise, and we need to reset, okay? So it's very important um, that you figure out if you've accomplished, if you have accomplished any of your goals, um, what do you need to do to tweak your goals so that um, you will be successful and reach them by the end of the year? And just um, know kind of where you're at and to see if maybe um, something that you put on your vision board was a little bit unrealistic because you want to stay realistic with your goals because if they're too too high it may it, it, it may make you feel a certain way and make you feel let down if you don't reach them so let's just focus on keeping it real and knowing um, what our habits are and what we need to do to change those habits in order to make realistic goals that we can actually reach guys so my vision board is right behind me and um, yeah I'm gonna flip the screen over and kind of go over all the areas with you but I will I will say this first and foremost um, what I did with my vision board was that I broke my vision board down into areas I have relationship I have travel health um, guilty pleasure, saving money. I have like rewards, education, my wish list, self care, exercise, faith, health, and travel. So those are the the different um, areas that I want to work towards and that are important to me. So you can do your vision board like any way you want. But for me, visually, it looks really nice. And I also put a quote um, in the middle. My quote says, life isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. And for those of you all that are YouTubers, um, that's pretty much where I kind of focused my um, quote was just being in a creative mode. So yeah. So um, let me see what else I want to say before I um, switch over and let you see a little bit closer what my goals and dreams and things are of that nature. Um, I put a picture of myself in the middle because, you know, you want to visualize yourself. And the whole reason for even putting a vision board together is to visualize what you see is pretty much what you can obtain if you, you don't have anywhere to, to to look at or anything to look at how are you gonna know where you're going um I mean, you need to, most people, you know, don't, for those of you who don't even know what a vision board is, a vision board is just an area that you put together with your hopes, dreams, goals, um, and just something that you can kind of look over and review daily um, to help you on your journey to reaching those goals. And I mean, when you put things out into the universe, like um, a form of, you um, um, what do you what do I want to say like the um, the law of attraction um, you put those things out so you're constantly looking at your board looking at a, an area where you have your goals and dreams meditating on those items and putting it out into the universe and our our 
our our ourselves we are energy so as what as a man thinketh so shall he be so when you're physically and consciously and intentionally focusing on what you want out of life you're sending those that energy out and what you put out is what you're going to get back and there's hundreds of videos about the law of attraction so if you want to you know check into that you know feel free there's so many videos that you can tap into to see how it works and what you need to do and I mean basically it's just being consistent about your thoughts and putting positive things out into the universe and like I said what you put out is what you're gonna get back okay and that is basically what a vision board is like I said just an area to look at to meditate on and what I also do with my vision board I also put like affirmations um, with my vision board to make those areas come alive I mean you can look at it but if you don't have like a mantra which is just something that you repeat um, for that one thing repeating it bringing it to life will bring your vision board to life for instance like in my health area it says I understand that you are what you eat I will be mindful about everything that I put in my mouth I will strive to have a balanced diet each and every day so as I'm looking at my vision board I'm gonna read my affirmation and that's gonna make that area come to life and work for me so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around and kind of go through each area to show you what I mean okay so guys I think I'm gonna put those three R's into um, a different order for you guys I think I'm gonna go with um, revise reset and then reward okay so in my health area like I said it says I understand that you are what you eat I will be mindful about everything that I put in my mouth I need to put I will I will strive to have a balanced diet each and every day okay so I am taking my vitamins I am eating um, about four meals a day I was my my eating was kind of was getting kind of bad uh -oh. My eating was getting bad for a while, so it took me a while to kind of get um, back um, in order because I am going through menopause, so sometimes I just feel, I just don't feel hungry, and I also have problems um, with insomnia, so taking um, the, the vitamins that I need um, helps to curb, you know, the um, effects of menopause. Um, right now, I'm probably drinking about five glasses of water, so I know I need to really meditate on the eight glasses to get in um, I am a little behind on my yearly checkup because I'm not working right now so I will be getting on my husband's health insurance soon so I'll be getting another yearly checkup and then my breast examination which is very um, important and ladies if for you know if you're not if you don't have insurance or even if you do have insurance you should be checking your breast monthly in the shower or just every time you get into the, into the I just check my breast every day just you know because I don't know I'm just checking mine every day y'all so then I have a picture here to kind of show me like what you know a healthy meal looks like and types of things that I would like to eat so now I'm moving down to faith read the Bible every day and then listen to gospel every day now this I have been slacking in I don't read the Bible every day so definitely this is an area that I need to stay more focused in and putting God first in my life and just listening to the gospel every day. Um, you know, you need to hear it every day. Like you need to be around something that is faith based, reading the Bible and, you know, listening to gospel music. So maybe for me, I can just kind of change that input every day or... music and I have my little white out to change it for later okay so exercise y'all I am not working out five days a week <laughs> but I think that I'm going to go ahead and change that and be more realistic remember what I said be more realistic about your goals you know, don't be putting stuff that you know that you are not going. Oh, I want to get this marker on my dress. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to three. Three days a week. 
walk at the park every day I'm not doing that because right now it's really hot it was like 106 today so walking may not be something that I can do but what I will do is for me um, to do that so um, lift weights three times a week um, I need to focus on that so I'll just put a dot right there that things that I really need to focus and this is like a picture of a body that is my dream body <laughs> It's my dream body and I do have the weight and I do have the tank like the little halter top in the shorts but I just don't have the dang on abs to go with it y'all but that's all right that's all right it's on my vision board so hopefully by December I should be looking like that okay self-care um meditation and gratitude journal I um haven't been meditating as much as I should so I'm gonna put a dot right there to something that I need to focus on more and I do write in my journal each and every day so that is something that I do do so I'm gonna put a star by this one I'm gonna go back up to vitamins I'm gonna put a star by that one um, I'm gonna put a star by this one and I'm gonna leave the rest of them that I need to put a dot by them I need to focus on better read about them every day put that and then put one right there okay so those little marks just show me that I have you know revised it okay so wish list so let's see it says a small tripod I got that a large um, 540 um, MFK perfume I don't have that yet um, paint the house inside I haven't done that yet but I did get a new car um, recently last year so what I do you guys I just basically use the same vision board and just keep updating it and putting new things on it as I go along from year to year uh, let's see um, glass lamps I did get those but they're actually in the living room right now um, new rugs for the master um, let me see gray and white and paint the master and bath gray new rugs for the master I did get new rugs for the master I also got a new rug for the living room new gray bedding for master I did get that um, I did get a microphone recently and I did get a, a new iPhone recently I probably should put the dates on that one this one should be 12 21 and the other stuff I think I would just say this was in 20 um, and then everything else is going to be I can't fit it in there everything else is going to be pretty much in 21 22 22 22 22 and 22 okay and then my goals let me see to save five thousand dollars by December 1st of 2022 that is still doable you guys I am working on it um, I am probably um, our goal we're probably about twenty three hundred dollars in so not too bad um, let me see, buy a new car. Okay, I already did that. Um, win the lottery. Yeah, I, I want to win the lottery. I haven't done that yet, but you got to be in it to win it. Clean the guest room. We did clean the guest room. It is now, I would have to say, for 22. It's a man cave. Man cave. Okay. I haven't got my passport yet and then let's see transform the master and bath um i have i did the bathroom but i haven't did the master bedroom so okay so listen to mel robbins every day and lisa nichols um for education um what i really want to put on here is going to be i'm gonna change well, no, I'm not going to change it because she, she's really phenomenal. But what I will put on here is going to be sync media.
Think Media is really a great platform on YouTube that helps YouTubers do and be the best that they can be. So definitely that is something that I've been doing um, every day for like the past couple of weeks. Um, Lisa Nichols, I haven't listened to um, Lisa um, in a while, but um, I'm going to put a dot here. I'm going to put a star here. And then I'm going to put a dot here. Okay. So now, so these are just rewards. Um, I guess I can do that one last. So saving money, like I said, um, doing good here. I'm going to put a star right there. Um, invest $50 per month in coins, like, you know, Bitcoins and stuff like that. And then invest $100 in stocks. Um, I was doing coin, I was doing Coinbase and Wimble, but I haven't um, been investing in a while. So, because I took it, I took it out. I cashed out. So I'm just going to put this and I'm going to put this to kind of revisit those areas when I'm looking at it every day. So this is my guilty pleasures area. This is just kind of like what I would love to do. Like I have my name on the lottery, Arizona lottery check um, in the amount of $100 million. Um, getting that money would allow me to do great things for myself, my family, and my community. So you see, I have an affirmation there. So like in the savings, I, my affirmation is, I understand that I'm responsible for managing the growth of my money. I will, I must pay myself first in order to fuel my dreams and goals. Okay, so then going back up to the guilty pleasures, I understand that YouTube is a platform for my voice. I must create positive and uplifting content three times a week. And right now I'm posting every day. So I've upped the ante. Um, my goal for YouTube is going to be 10,000 new subs by um, 1222. So that is what I am working on. I have six months to reach my goals. So please share this video and please subscribe if you would please help a sister girl out. All right now. <laughs> so I'm um, cleaning. I have a cleaning area. Um, it says um, clean the house each and every day based on cleaning chart. So I do have a cleaning chart. I can um, probably if you're interested in um, seeing a cleaning chart and how I clean my house, please um, leave that in the comment um, and I can start working on and sharing. I think I did put a copy of my cleaning list on another video, but if you're interested in my cleaning list, um, let me know in the comment section. Um, if you love to clean, um, please um, hit the like button. So this one I do every day because I don't have a choice. <laughs> and then fragrance the house, sweep up and sweep up dog hair. I don't know why I put that there. But yeah, we have two dogs, so constantly got to stay on top of that dog hair. Um, relationship, um, date night each week, which is Fridays. We usually um, eat out, get pizza or have like a date night. So that I am doing um, one gift every month haven't really been doing that so I'm gonna put a little dot right there because we just been pretty much buying things for the house um, I do get my husband like little things that he likes you know candy whatever his favorite candy is I'll bring it or like if I know he likes a certain hand wash at Bath and Body Works I'll pick it up so I do get him stuff but you know what I do, I do, I do get him a lot of stuff. Let me put a, a star right there, because I do, I do more. I, I always get him something, so yeah. So day night is really good, but I mean, we usually just like order out and just, you know, have something special every Friday. We we don't cook, we go out and we get something and bring it back to the house, because y'all know that COVID is still out there. You know, I'm ho I hope that you're wearing your mask. If you're wearing your mask each and every day when you go out, um, hit the subscribe button. All right, y'all. And then the last area is travel. And I do plan to go to Vegas. So I am planning a trip right now to go to Vegas, um, like by next month. And um, to drive up to Prescott. Um, I was planning to do that like next week with my mom. So I am, God, it is coming to pass and then we weren't gonna go to the wildlife zoo because it's too hot out here we were actually gonna change that and then we're gonna go I'm gonna put under it to the children's museum
to the Children Museum. Okay, because um, the, the the Wildlife Zoo is just too dang on hot right now. So then back in the mail, let me see. I read my quote earlier. Um, life isn't about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. That just means change, keeping yourself, reinventing, keeping yourself, you know, um, up to date in whatever is going on and just, you know, constantly doing whatever you need to do to stay relevant. some gold heels this little gold little top Stay positive, sis. And yeah, that's what I really want to encourage every one of you out there. You know, just stay uplifted. Stay positive. You know, your dreams will come true. You just have to give it time. You know, because God's time ain't our time. You know what I'm saying? God's time ain't our time. It's just not the same time. If he has a blessing for you, it's going to be on his time. So you just need to stay focused, stay uplifted, stay positive, and, you know, keep going. Do what you need to do. Be kind. Be loving. Be understanding. Help other people. You help enough people, you, 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 you can get what you want. Manifest. Write your dreams and goals down. Do something every day that's going to get you closer to your dreams because only you can get yourself there. Can't nobody else. You can't depend on nobody. You got to be your biggest cheerleader. Tell me. Girl, you can't. I tell you nothing. She can't tell me nothing, girl. Nothing. Do you hear me? You can't tell me nothing. Oh, my gosh.
I am blessed. I am whole. I am a goddess. I am purposeful. I am worthy of loving myself deeply. I am magical and radiant. I radiate a strong sense of self-acceptance. I am worthy of a deep fulfilling love. so blessed thank you Jesus and then I got um, some kiss acrylic French nails these are like the perfect size and shape um, the nails kiss nails they last for about three weeks I, I'm actually wearing the Empress right now and I like those but they just I don't know they're kind of thick and they, they don't really fit that well like close to my nail bed like with these it looks like they're growing out of your body so I hear that but this is so relaxing this is so relaxing you guys I love this I think I can like be like whatever about it being a little messy to do so I think I'm just going to go ahead and just give it a 10. It deserves it. This is so nice. Oh my God. I love this. You can hide under your cover. But no, we have each other. Sometimes life is unfair. But honey, you need So that is day two of my daily exercise regimen. I'm going to be doing like 20 minutes a day and then I can kind of work myself up to maybe 30. My goal is to get to a workout of one hour a day. Um, that is what I am. That's my goal that I am working towards. back to the channel. I am so happy that we're going to be spending some more time together. And for those of you who are new, thank you so much for taking the time to check out my video. Um, if you're into lifestyle, fashion, and fragrance, this is the place to be. And today I have a new series called Grow. I got my eye on you. And this is where I take my favorite um, content creators and I recreate their looks for less using Shein. So if you're interested in seeing who I'll be featuring on this episode, keep watching. 
I'm so excited because now we're about to have a little fun. Let's go ahead and get into one of my favorite series. It's called Girl Get Into It. This is where I take my Shein Weekly picks and bring them to you um, looks for less. Like, I just think that, you know, I'm, I'm on Shein. If I see something good and I want to bring it to you, this is the series that I do that. Hey, y'all. Hey, and welcome back to the channel. This is Cheryl Johnson. My nose is running. Oh. Hey y'all, hey, and welcome back to the channel. This is Cheryl Johnson with Hey Girl TV. And if you're into lifestyle, fragrance, and fashion, that's it right. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> hey y'all, hey, and welcome back to the channel. This is Cheryl Johnson with Hey Girl TV. If you're into lifestyle, fashion, and fragrance, this is the place to be. And you guys, this is effort. <laughs> Hey y'all, hey, and welcome back to the channel. This is Cheryl Johnson with Hey Girl TV. And if you're into lifestyle, fashion, and fragrance, this is the place to be. And you guys, this is episode number six of Girl. I got my, I, oh, At some point in your life, accept it. Oh my God, oh my God. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. When I put the call out for a member of the Tan Fam to join me on Celebrity Family Feud, the submissions came flooding in. And some of y'all had me in tears of laughter with how creative you are. I'm packed for this trip, honey. Girl, I am the one for tea. Look, girl, look how fast. Look how fast, girl. I can get that buzzer like no other, okay? I am the girl who knows too much. Music that for Tamara's family, all family feud, primarily because this was a show I've been watching for the vast majority of my life. Why should you choose me? You ask the best questions. Well, I think I have the knowledge and skills that you need in order to win the most money for your favorite charities and have fun. The top five reasons why I should be chosen to join the Tamron Hall Celebrity Family Feud team are Number five, claps well. Number three, great cheerleader. Good answer, good answer. Number one, witty. So I gotta make this quick. Um, I would love to be on the Family Feud with you. Not only were these hopefuls ready to play the game, more importantly, all were ready to win. I believe I'll be an amazing player because I got wisdom and insight. I'm manifesting to be on the Tamlin Show on the Family Feud. Tamron, you cannot go wrong with A, your fellow Virgo, me. Your fellow Texas sister. He narrowed it down to one person who would represent the most loyal member. Welcome back to Hey Girl TV. This is Cheryl Johnson. If you're into lifestyle, fashion, and fragrance, and this is the place to be. And you guys, I am finally bringing back the fashion trade part. So that means I will be covering New York Fashion Week. I'm so excited. I'm going to be bringing you the shows. I'm going to be bringing you what the girls are wearing, fashion. We're going to cover everything from perfume to makeup to skincare. It's going to be a fun ride. If you're ready, let's get started.
y'all. So I am wrapping up um, the first day of New York Fashion Week and it's it's been a little exhausting. And I know I'm not out there putting in like the footwork and going in taxis and back and forth and having to go back and change. But just reporting Fashion Week from home is better than nothing. Like it was my dream to go to Fashion Week and I wasn't able to due to financial reasons. Um, it's, it's a lot going on in my household. My husband's sick. Um, my grandson just had foot surgery. So it's been a lot. If you look at my videos, you'll see when Bro T got his cast off and um, even as far as back as Christmas and my um, vlog misses, um, you know, I was stating that, you know, my husband was not well. So it just been a time and I just couldn't get get it together in time. So I know what I have to do now so I can attend next year's Fashion Week. And I'll be ready because I'm learning a lot. Um, Monroe Steele, her videos on how to go to Fashion Week, even to share our politics and fashion, she spills the beans on the expenses so forth and so on and then Janae of Hilo Lux she has videos on how to go and what it's going to take and how to prepare there's videos to learn how to do this this is a, a job like people don't take influencers seriously content creators content creators seriously they just think that they're just playing makeup and it's a it's a real job it's hard work especially if you don't have like an assistant I'm not nowhere near needing an assistant, but I'm just saying I am preparing. Like, I own my name. I got my name trademark. I have my website. I have my merch. I have my storefront. So I'm ready. I've done the groundwork for this job, and I, I, I believe that I can pull this off. I, I know I can, but um, I need your, your help and your support, you know, and you can do that by pressing you know the subscribe button and you know hitting the bell for notifications so you'll see when another video is about to drop and yeah so i'm just going to go through my nighttime routine and get this makeup off because i just dropped my last short i think i put up like 20 shorts y'all today like it was just every time I, I did a short i saw something else that i could commentate on or i saw fashion like the girls haven't been dropping their fashions um karen abrichick i got a couple of shots of um some of her outfits um i saw janae's outfit with the white suit on with the boussier with the white hat to die for i think i think that's going to be the number one outfit of the influencers like she sets the bar high high as hell so yeah i gotta um tomorrow i know i'll probably see more fashions but i'll be working but i'll just you know save everything while i'm out and you know, I'll be dropping those shorts and then I'm like filming now so that I can kind of put together like the fashion week and um, everything that I did um, to make it through. And I'm learning, I'm learning designers, I'm learning clothes, I'm learning the business. Um, it's, it's wonderful. Like you have to do the work, you have to do something. Cause I know there's many of you out there that wanted to go to fashion week and you should not let that stop you. Do what I'm doing. Just get into the fashion week, learn everything you can learn from it. Study the, the, the fashion, study the, the designers. I mean, cause one day girl, we might be, you know, pulling clothes from those designers at one point as we grow. So yeah, like I'm learning a lot. I'm very happy. Those pictures up, but it was it's, it's it's starting to become overwhelming as far as trying to find the different shows. Um, it's gonna take me a little bit more time to put it all together. So after the show is over, I'll still be up. Put, I'll still be loading information about different shows and different designers to give you an insight and a quick little review of what the collection was all about. You know, um, nothing, there hasn't really been anything that I didn't like. And I look forward to working with these designers in the future. So I really don't have anything negative to say. How can you really critique somebody on what's in their head and what's in their mind? Um, they put the work in, they worked really hard. So, I mean, like, you know, mama always said, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing. 
There's something beautiful in every in each collection. There's a little bit for someone and some, you know, there's a little bit for everybody in a collection. I mean, out of everything that I've seen, I was always able to pick one thing that really sparked my interest. So, um, yeah, like I said, I, I wouldn't want anybody critiquing me on my creativity. <laughs> Janae and LaPointe, Boots, Mark Jacobs. Tashira and Mango Bottega Purse, Tory Burr Shoes, Monroe and LaPointe, and myself and Shaquita Garcia. Hey y'all, hey, it's day three of Fashion Week. This is the fashion lineup for today's shows. If you have a favorite designer, I would love to know from this list. I have my eye on Jason Wu. If you can come up with something better than that two-piece biscuit that I fell in love with, I'm so. Spring Fashion Trends 2024, Pearl Embellishments, Statement Earrings, Monochrome Outfits, Head to Toe Floral, Baby Blue. We have Oversized Men Suiting, Pickaboo, and a Beautiful Brown Suit. You're welcome. Makeup Trend for Spring 2024. Let's go with the Monochrome Look and an Ombre Lip. You can use the same eyeshadow for blush. Outline the top lip with a darker lip pencil. And for the lipstick on the bottom lip, outline with concealer. Pearl Inta had me shook. I really could appreciate the elongated netted pieces that were in this collection. I really enjoy seeing the beautiful baby blue pops of color throughout the flowy dresses. And I really like this collection. If you like ruffles and more ruffles, the Tadashi collection did not disappoint. I love their under the sea theme and the dresses did reflect everything that I love about the sea. The dresses were very sleek and elegant and I love the twist on formal wear. Andre Celeste Spring 24, love this suit. This print also came in white. Lots of white, pops of yellow, suited pieces, leather, cutouts, and the hats were adorable. She did not disappoint. Favorite piece in the K collection for spring. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more edgier. It had a lot of structured pieces, a lot of suited pieces, a lot of flowy pieces as this one. I love this one. And you know, the show was very dramatic. You had to be there. This was the only pop of color that I saw was the coral. Makeup trends for 2024 have been predicted. Girl, you wanna have a little fun, you wanna use some bold colors and put them in places that you normally wouldn't put your eyeshadow in and have a little fun, live a little. And don't come for me because I lost my little fuzzy cap to my little mic, so I'm still gonna drop it. <laughs> Girl, I had to let y'all get a second look at this spring collection by Ralph Lauren. Baby, this collection is for the woman who was on holiday 365. Okay. I just wanted y'all to get a closer look at my favorite dress from the Jason Wu collection. The beautiful Aloato is wearing my dress, girl. Take my dress off. Love this. A two piece and a biscuit? <laughs> Content creator fashion are dropping and I am here for it. Can't nobody do it like Karen the Bridge Chick, okay? Girl, I still got that case spade purse in my car. Damn it. Karen the Bridge Chick. Are influencers messing up fashion week? Hell no. Nah. collection for spring. I love that little turquoise bag. It's my favorite. Christian Seriano's collection. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, Ralph Lauren, I see you. I love this collection. It gives me like a Moroccan vibe. I love the purples, the yellows, the metallics, the sequin. Just lovely. All wearable. I love this collection. I can't see any of the jewelry, okay? <laughs> Floral, cargo suit. Y'all killing me with these fashions. I'm dead. Now on to the influencers, Miss Janae, high low lux in the hat, girl. <laughs> Stunning, you look like an angel, I'ma cry, I'ma cry. 
over. I've been waiting for this. In the humid lines, you have done it again. Did I catch that shirt with the rock? I'm selling with that. All right now, my Jackson. All right now. If I choose my favorite outfit, it'll be that jean jumpsuit. Okay, I love the just pop of color. <laughs> I love this one. Still looking at Loewe. I want to show you guys something. It's coming. Just wait for it. Mmm. This right here, it's leather and it's meshed into cotton. Y'all Loewe by Jonathan Anderson. Hoo -hoo! High waisted. I like the sparkle. I love that. Looks very chic, but the pants are pretty high on the waist. <gasps> Okay, guys, now we're at the Jason Wu Show. Um, I haven't really seen anything in New York thus far that I did not like. I love this collection. Ooh, ooh, ooh this two-piece right here. Oh, my God. The one behind it. Girl, stop playing. Woo! The Coast Show was giving, um, but you have to be at a handbag showing. Like, I didn't feel I saw the bags enough watching it on YouTube. Fashions off the chain on trend. My favorite, anything see-through. This collection is adorable. I love the little cute little skirts, very girlish. Just makes you feel so feminine. I love this collection. PH5, girl, I don't, girl, I don't even know where to start. The collection was very laid back, very relaxed. This is the dress that I fell in love with. So I was expecting a little more from PH5. Um, but I mean, my overall opinion of it is just really, really laid back, really lax, really flowy, some really vibrant colors. Don't know about the shoes, y'all. Don't know about the shoes. Don't know about the shoes. But this dress, love that little cutout. <laughs> this was just... <laughs> Very creative, very creative. I would love to have all those dresses on her back. <laughs> but like I said, overall, very laid back, very, I don't know, just more street. This one, I think that is just, I love the silhouettes of this collection. Very, like, um, I guess, sophisticated. This one was just really nice. Um, I love this collection. The pieces, the cutouts, the draping, lovely. Just astonishing. Love this as well. Love the colors. Love the lax feel with the bohemian twist. I feel. Um, I just like some of the prints were like watercolors to me. Loved it. Girl, just the suited outfits, the long maxi dresses, the suits, leather fringe. This was pretty awesome. This is just chic, feminine, and just very sleek. I love the fitted, suited pieces with the twist. Dresses were phenomenal. Love the sequins, love the short minis. Just loved everything about this collection. Very beachy feel to me. Great colors. Just pretty awesome. Carol Carolina Herrera, you did the thing on this one. 
you did the thing love this it remind me of a superhero and i just love the fantasy of this collection tori birch tori you have done it i mean you have set your side apart i did notice some of the fashions um remind me of tong tong but overall i think it's a very sleek um collection very colorful just a watercolor of just watercolor watercolors that's all I can think of when I think of this collection vibrant beautiful they had a lot of colors in that collection this is very street like if you want to be chic and sexy this collection is for you I love all the maxi dresses I love this collection, very bold colors, love the color blocking, the um, monochrome looks, just very chic, love the flowy long pants, just awesome, the draping of the coats, that's what I was here for, with the, with the coats, just excellent, excellent, very vibrant colors for spring, girl, you can't tell me nothing if I had this suit on right here, just love the silhouettes of everything you did that girl look at that with the like a victorian twist child let him eat cake let him eat cake child <laughs> and look at this one that chartreuse chartreuse love it very vibrant neons love a neon
right, it is day six of New York Fashion Week, and it has been a doozy. I can't even, I don't even think that I can fully understand because I was tired at home. So just like the influencers being out, going in cabs, you know, going into fittings, going into fashion show, shows, getting lunch, going out, going to parties. I know it is a lot of work. So for me, my takeaway for New York Fashion Week is I believe that you really would get a better experience being there than not. But like I said, there's no reason for you not to participate if you can't go. So that's why I put this video together just to show you that anything is possible, that your dreams can still come true. I learned so much about fashion this last week. I learned about a lot of designers that I didn't know of. I learned about fabrics. I learned about silhouettes, textures, colors, collections. I learned about models. I learned so much. There's so much, so much to learn about this industry. And there's so many opportunities oh my god just watching the girls you know posting things up like Janae you know she was doing reels for Pandora um I believe that Monroe you know um she was fitted for a different um show so I mean there's so much opportunity you guys all we have to do is just keep going so that was my biggest takeaway is that this industry this platform has so many unbelievable opportunities I just I can't wait till it's my turn um, the other takeaway was that um, this is a job, job, a job, a job, okay? This is not a hobby. <laughs> These girls are out here putting in the work. So, you know, all of your support means the world to them, means the world to me. And um, that is how they make their living. You know what I'm saying? So to get up every morning, to get yourself ready, um, to show others how to stay fashionable, how to stay stylish, the latest trends, the latest, latest makeup, the latest skincare, latest hair care, just everything about being a beauty influencer is hard work. So, thank you for supporting us. Um, yeah, that that's that was my takeaway. There's so much opportunity. So today I have on my dupe, um, Jean Paul Gaultier dupe. So I'll put a picture up there just to let you see what that looks like. And then I'm just gonna end this video. Let me see. Was there anything else that I needed to add? I just really feel like to capture the total experience, you have to be there. I would totally um, list um, different sites that you can learn how to be a part of New York Fashion Week, you know, so you can be on the wait list when the schedule drops for next year. And I'll give you as much information in the description box that I can relating to you to New York Fashion Week. And um, yeah, I just, it was a blast. It was a blast. Had I not, you know, decided to be involved, even though I could not go, it was a great learning experience for me. I was able to be on on the wait list, not the wait list, but I was able to receive newsletters and emails. Um, if you even go to the designers pages and um, subscribe like to Instagram, you get notifications when they're dropping, you know, um, like videos for, you know, whatever they're doing. So that really helps. So that's a PH5 piece. Oh my God, that is a um, Badly Bishka. Oh, you know, whatever the case may be, I am putting things together, girl. So you ain't gonna tell me nothing in like another year.
that thing up. You okay, mm, Boo-Boo? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I don't know what the rest of it. You still got stuff on there. Eat the rest of the corn off. Today, you're so pretty. Oh, you're so beautiful. Look how beautiful you are. And you know that you got the my lashes. I know you're saying you got the my lashes. <laughs> beautiful. Happy birthday. 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 to you. Don't care what the others say. Let's celebrate. It's a happy day. You and me, we all can do it. Come on, lose it. Get back to it. Because my husband, he's going to have to um, go in for another stint. Um, his heart is just not doing very well. So I have that um, on me as well. And then I have... I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. So, and then um, I have royalty. He's going to be getting foot surgery soon because he has really flat feet and he can't really walk more than 30 minutes. And we've been going through like physical therapy for like a year before this. And when we took a break, his feet were not getting any better. So we had to go to a podiatrist. And then, I mean, as soon as the doctor put his hand on his foot and examined it, he was like, he's gonna have to have surgery. So he's gonna have to get a boat put in the top of his foot and they're gonna lengthen his Achilles tendon. So I have that surgery coming up. Another surgery um, before the end of this month with my with, with my husband because his heart is really bad. And um, yeah, just pray for me. Pray, please pray for me. And um, yeah, just, just keep me in your prayers because it's a lot. Um, a lot of responsibility. I know I'm raising my grandkids, so there's just a lot, you know. It. Um, I'm grateful for being able to do what I do. I'm grateful for God giving me the energy and the strength to do what I do. And I am just, I'm grateful to have what I have this far. I'm very grateful. I'm grateful for beautiful friends. I'm grateful for having um, a mother who has my back on everything. Thank you, Mama. You're my everything. I love you so much. And you're just the best mom in the world. And I'm just so grateful to be your daughter. And you've taught me so much how to be strong, um, how not to give up, and how not to um, 
just keep going. My mama always told me, you know, just to take that one foot and put that foot in front of the other and just keep going. I want to thank you, mama, for the work ethic. I know I it came a little late for me, but I just love that you have definitely laid down a great blueprint on being a strong woman. And I want to thank you for that. I just want to thank you for everything you've done for me, everything you've given me. I know you made many sacrifices. And I know what it feels like to make those sacrifices, even when your kids don't listen and you have to watch them make mistakes. And you don't want them to make mistakes. So I love you for loving me through everything that I've been through. And I just, I'm so grateful that you're my mom. Nobody else could have been my mom but you because you're so loving and so selfless and you, you do so much and you care for so many people. And we are so lucky to have you in our lives. And you, you, you're just a blessing, Mama. And I love you so much. Thank you so much. Hey, you guys. Hey, y'all. Hey, and I am at the hospital with um, for Royalty's foot surgery. So we're just down like in the lobby because it hasn't started yet. So we, this surgery starts at three thirty, and it is about two thirty. So and within the next hour, we will be. Um, getting his surgery so i'm gonna go back upstairs because i had to come back downstairs and feed coco you want to say hi coco you say hi to the peoples you say hi to peoples hi. say hi okay so we're gonna go back upstairs to go see royalty and then yeah so let's go guys let's Little go panoramic go. of the hospital it's a really nice lobby we have a really nice view outside. We were sitting down having some walnuts and M&M's. Those new M&M's, the cookie crunch. They're pretty good, guys. They're pretty good.
Okay, we go to this view. This one's usually kind of hard to tell, but it's <laughs> right where it typically looks like here. But then we go to this one. Oh my God. That's oh. right where it should be. Your arch is aligned absolutely perfect. Oh my God, Ron, look at your foot. Your skeleton, so, your skeleton bones. Now, if we go to here. Look at your skeleton. <laughs> so this was before. Uh -huh, okay, so before. if we go back to this view, you know, I look at these bones are mm -hmm. aligned where they're supposed to be. And not really there. This bone's sticking out more. You can kind of see his foot going back. Mm -hmm. So, and then if we look here, look how flat that is. So if you look at this mm -hmm. bone here, mm -hmm. the spacing we have right here, and we go to that spacing. So it's oh, lifted his arch. So it's absolutely perfect Thank where it's you. supposed to be. So you have done fantastic. Yeah. Okay. With a dame, I it drunk, you can't even get it on Four to five O's in your bank, then get it on Roll up like that plank and get it on Plank to fit it on, can't even get it on Hold up, you wanna work that, work that Let me in, let me hurt that, murk that Till you gotta hurt back Can't spit it out, boo, you gotta slurp that Can't cut a after we done, it wasn't worth that So we ain't responsible for bringing dirt back Can we back up? Uh. She has the bar style and she throwing it up She drank a little hypno, throwing it up But I'm only dealing with freaks that wanna cut mine